Hi, oh my gosh, it's episode five. Who would have thought that I'd be here? Me, I thought that I'd be here. Welcome back. We are excited here on Expedition Online. And the things that have happened were, what was even the challenge? I don't even, oh, the challenge that Sandra hosted, which queen, but like it was, of course my question was trivia, like definitions. Like I don't know definitions, I do math. Why would I know English, you know? So anyways, um, the red party is killer. We got the Cranberries Alliance. With We're all kind of so different that it all works out well for us. Me, Kara, Jess, Joshi, and Aaliyah. That five right there is going to the end and I'm cool with it. We are left with 14 people going into tonight. No better time to show where everybody falls in the pecking order. We'll jump right into it. First up on the rankings, in last place, Shane. Um, you might be wondering, Ryan, Shane's not a player in this cast, and I say, I don't care. He's pissed me off with these advantages. I've wasted far too much time guessing random assortments of cups, guessing what emoji applies to token to these people. Um, and Shane earned this spot uh, in dead last, and this was this is personal. Um, Kara, I have no read on you. This is so ironic that I started hating Kara this season and thinking she was so boring. And apparently, we're the power duo. Who would have thunk it? Not me. Ryan's playing a very good game at the moment as well. He really is. And he's been saying that to a couple of people about, oh, uh, people are thinking you're together. So I think he's playing his own game of like, planting seeds in people's mind about, oh, you're working too much with this person. You should probably cut them or you should really be conscious of this. Like, of course I'm conscious of it. As I move through this game, I'm starting to realize I gotta switch some things up. Eli 1.0 is done. Um, and as the prince of this game, I have to figure out a new strategy. The first strategy was trying to build that royal court, right? So now moving forward, the court's built. So now that I'm in Eli 2.0, the prince's game is gonna have to change up. And I thought, what better way to start a podcast now what I like to do on this Prince's podcast is take questions from the callers. So let's get a first question from the caller. Caller, you're live. Prince, big fan here. Oh, always have you. been, always will be. Oh. Who are your targets moving forward in this game? Great question, caller. So my targets moving forward, obviously, Joseph. He told Megan, I threw her name out there. Joseph's on my shit list for that. It's Joseph. Um, again, you just hold everything so close to your chest. You give very little information about things. You're thinking and not sharing. It's sketch, not a fan of it. And the next tier is Austin, Thomas. Uh, we're stuck together. This is three parties now. And I, li I like where your brain's at. I, like you, you talk out even the contradictory points to what people might think. Like Pretty Boy Thomas is definitely on my list too because we didn't talk. He's been far away from me. He's been winning. Um, and I don't like that. I don't like somebody who hasn't talked to me getting far in this game because if they haven't talked to me, that means they aren't, they're talking about me. And he's on the blue party with all the boys and we can't have the boys keep running this game. I think if I move into the rendezvous with this five plus the people I got on the outskirts a little bit, I mean, I, right now I got Courtney on the outside who's in the purple party. She's still rocking it. I got Ryan who I think is gonna, I think Ryan's still kicking it with me. I and at the top of the pyramid, this might be a shock, is Eli someone that I have not seen since day zero uh, where we went to that first crossroads, but is the only person in this whole list, four, four, 13 people, that I've had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with expressing loyalty. Do I think I'm the only person Eli's had that conversation with? No, I'm not an idiot. Well, you know, I have my moments, um, but that's someone that I gave my word to, that gave my, their word to me. Um, but it's ultimately, I think, going to be a great shield in front of me. Is very likable. I don't care much for the social of everything. I think Eli might fill that gap for me. Um, but yeah. I'm thinking we're heading for another swap because we didn't swap last time. We stayed in our team. But I think we're going to swap. I just hope I don't get swap fucked. Everybody can hear me? Thumbs up. All right. Yellow, black, red. Okay. Hello and welcome everyone to Expedition Online. It's day six. We have 13 explorers 
still on their expedition. And for today's challenge, we are going over to challenge coordinator Jess. Greetings explorers and welcome to Full of Hot Air. You will be playing head to head against other explorers from the other parties. And if you win your head to head matchup, you score a point. Your goal is to get all three ping pong balls from the first can to the third can without them stopping on the middle can, without them bouncing off or without them getting stuck. Good luck. Before we get to that, I think it's time to mix things up. 13 seems like a reasonable number to do that, no? All right, we're gonna go to a schoolyard pick. Our new captains were chosen yesterday without your knowledge. They will be Joseph and Joshi. You guys will pick your first party member. They will then pick the next party member. Going back and forth, back and forth. Blue Party won the challenge yesterday. You guys were both the number ones. That's how you were picked as team captains. So, Blue Party wins. Blue Party picks first. Joseph, that means you're up. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, I've taken this into consideration, and this is a really hard decision. Brian, I'm going to take Brian. All right, Joseph takes Ryan. Joshy, you're picking. Um, I'm going to pick Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Uh, Joseph, you also get to pick your team color. Sorry. You can either do a red or purple. Purple, please. All right. So for team purple, Ryan, who is our next party member? Uh, what a great question, Jonathan. Uh, can you send Austin over to purple? Team purple gets Austin. Uh, Leah picking for team red. Like to pick Kara. Kara, going over to team red. Austin, who will be the next member of the purple party? Annie. Annie, next member of the red party. Eli. Eli, purple party. Annie. I'm going to pick Bar. Bar. And for the red party, Eli? I'm going to pick Thomas. Thomas! Team Purple. I'm going to pick Rocky. Rocky! Thomas, we have a decision here. There's two people left. One of them's going to get on your party, and one of them is going to find out what happens when you don't get picked in the schoolyard pick. Who's it going to be? I... I'm going to pick Jess. Jess, that leaves us with Courtney. All right, Courtney, you have been left out of the schoolyard pick. Lucky for you, that means that you are safe this evening. You will be going over to the summit. You can spend your evening there. We will see you at the crossroads where you will watch and observe. And we'll see what happens after. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get to business. We have for the purple party, Joseph. For the red party, Joshy. In three, two, one, go. All right. A little bit of a learning curve to this challenge here. This is a staple in Expedition Online. So those of you getting prepared for it should have seen it coming. Josh, he's got his first ball. Joseph's still struggling a little bit. Josh, on onto his second. Joseph's got to get it going here. Josh, make sure your hand is back further so we know it's not hitting your hand. Yeah, we want to, we want to be able to see the, see the cup. Oh, Joshy. Has all three. He has won the point for the red party. That was a small one. That was a bad idea. Yep. Hey, you picked the can. And fortunately, it's a bad pick for this challenge. I love that variable in our game. On to the next challenge, or the next group. 
We have for the purple party, Ryan. For the red party, Aaliyah. <laughs> Ready? In three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, Leah has the first ball. Ryan still trying to get there. Takes a little. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, Leah seems to have a video. Oh. Oh. Leah has finished. I seen the third ball, but not the second ball. Let's pause for a second. Did Leah's freeze for everybody? It did? Yeah. Oh, that's crap. So, Leah, you can have the two balls. Just pull the, th the middle one. Yeah. Because I seen you with the third one. Hold on. Let's stop. We're going to start again. And, yeah, pull it back. In three, two, one, go. Okay, Aaliyah has the third ball. She has won the point for Team Red. That puts Red up to nothing. We are on to round three. We have Austin for purple, Kara for red. Ready in three, two, one, go. All right. Ooh, Kara gets the first one. Austin's still working on his. Kara gets the second one right away. It's, Kara has two. Austin's still trying to get the first one going. Oh, just tips off for Austin. Kara working on the third one. Ooh. Both getting them real close right now. Kara has the third one. That is it. Team Red up 3 to 0 right now. One more for Team Red, and this will be a blowout. As we now have Annie for purple, Eli for red. You guys know the stakes. Starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh-oh, Annie losing one of her balls. Short-term plan right now. She's going to have to find it, though. Eli getting his first ball onto his second one. He seems to have found it. He has three in a row. Red team runs away with this challenge. It is over. Don't even need to get to the rest of you as they have swept 4-0 here. Team Red has one exemption for the evening, I will see the purple party back here in approximately one hour. Hi, Hi Courtney. How are you? I'm just starstruck. <laughs> but play this game. Let's <laughs> play this game. So how are you? I am so happy to meet you. That's what I am. <laughs> Let me get like a chair. Oh my god. So listen to me. Um, Just like on my season, I wanted, this is my opportunity and I've used this opportunity for Expedition Online in the past to talk to players that come to the summit. And that's kind of been my role. So I would like to talk to you a little bit before I do that, can you tell me a little bit about you and your game? And where you, how do you feel you are right now in your game? I feel like I'm Rupert because I'm playing with my heart. But I have like an emotional time every single time. I'm an emotional player. So I'm basically, I'm Rupert. You're Rupert and, you know. I wanted to be perfidy, but like, I think I'm Rupert. You might be like some of the people on my season two. I'm thinking either Lauren or Nora because they're very emotional. 
Lauren. I'm probably Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> so Lauren used to used to cry every day and be very upset every day. And I know. You can turn what? that around for you. If I just like, turn it off. No. No, because that's not who you are. You've got to be. See, in I'm order to. In order to succeed, you've got to let it, you, your personality come through and then turn it a little bit. You know, you, you've you got to use your, all right, so the people who you think you might have a connection to. Maybe and Austin, I think. But because of the most recent people, like, we keep swapping it. Mm -hmm. That party like absorbed all of the purple party and the purple party was getting like third place over and over again And so like I'm not a math guy, but I think we average out that now uh, the red party is kind of Big swingers on campus, if you know what I'm saying We ate that compop. I was nervous, you know, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going against a man <laughs> I'm like, really? going, going against, against a blue big boy <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I gotta do it and we split up the blue boys a little bit, at least. I kind of told Thomas, I was like, well, I picked Kara because, like, we were practicing the challenge and I knew she would be good. So, Kara, like, without hesitation, took Joseph with her. So we're certain one of them has an advantage. You know, Joseph said that he doesn't have it and that he lost his vote. Personally, I do not buy that shit. I'm going to see if she cheats on the lie or if she's just going to come clean and be like, eh, you know what, I do have it. Um, but I... I'm fine with voting for Austin. It's just, would Ryan be okay with it? Because he chose Austin for this. What happens in the face of a tie? I think I mean, it's like a revote and then a tiebreaker. I I would go to Rock for oh. you and Rock. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't care. We could split the votes for Joseph and Austin. If we split two, 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 and Joseph has an advantage, that could, like, tip off the scale. Like, if it's an extra vote, we're fucked. Maybe play it safe tonight and just put all of our votes on Austin. Because we genuinely do not know where Ryan stands. Um, okay, just so you know, I don't know what you and Barr talked about, but we have Ryan. Okay. Like, Ryan will vote with us as long as, like, so we have, like, a four there. I also know that Joseph probably has an advantage. And I don't okay. know what it is, but it's something, because he went to the summit. And... Um, I'm like 99% sure. Also, like, I don't know how, how t I don't know how tight you are with Austin, but um, I think like right now, at least I know what you and Barr talked about, but me and Ryan seem to be leaning targeting Joseph. And like, if we think that he has an advantage, we could just split the votes. Yeah, and no, I think it's um, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, like um, I'm I don't think it's a cross. I don't think it's like a compass. I'm pretty sure it's like an extra vote or something, or a mm. steal of vote or something like that. So I would assume that like as long as we had four people um we'd be fine but mm -hmm. i don't know like what was how is austin like i don't know like i just don't know him that well because he just literally like voted me and i had to play my mm -hmm. compass so that's like my oh, only I, thing i know about him i mean i trust him a little i trust him to a certain amount like obviously yeah. he was his back was against the wall so like i don't know how much i could but at the at that point like last crossroads courtney really really wanted to get josh and i didn't want to just i didn't want to like ruffle her feathers or anything so i was just like okay, okay. I, I i kind of i honestly like going into that our group was talking about what was going to happen and i immediately said exactly i, I my my thing was i thought courtney was going to want josh out and it happened mm -hmm. so yeah but i'm pretty sure you've probably been through like the mass chaos that was mm -hmm. that tribe <laughs> okay so on the blue tribe um, Joseph left early one day, like, 30 minutes, so me, Barr, Thomas, and Ryan, we didn't, like, make, like, a formal alliance, but we were definitely, like, kumbaya, um, uh -huh. and the person that they had both name-dropped, they both want to work with you, like, I, like, just from their experience with you that one night, like, they both came in, and they were like, hey, Annie seems like a good person, Annie said you and Barr were good people, like, if we get to a point where we can all work together, let's do that. So they they were very much preaching that to I don't like I'm and I trust them both they both seem pretty straight up but um that's what they were preaching to me. But would you be comfortable going Joseph tentatively? Yeah, one hundred percent. Definitely, like Rocky. Mm, I agree. I think that will be smart. But he could have already found, like knowing him, he could have found something again. He definitely uh, could have, but like, will he play it? Like, genuinely thinking that 
you don't have a vote, and that him, Annie, and I are a voting bloc. You could wipe one of the team daughters out if you decided to, just hypothetically. But if that would, right. like you said, kind of go against the whole team George Sandra right. and, like, dynamic. I, that's I, been kind of, to what is dictating this game so far. Right, and like on the one hand, I want that for myself because that's like awesome, and at the same time, I'm scared of like being the first person to do it. Like it's either gonna open everyone's minds to like, okay, we can play freely, or they're gonna be like, Bar's a traitor. He betrayed his team. It's like it's why, and it's why I said like I don't mind putting on a show and saying like, um, no, like mm. knowing that I have my connection with you, knowing that I have my connection with Ryan, and that I have a connection with Thomas. I don't mind sitting on a show. I've been the one who came forward and said like, oh, you know, we should not work just like team wise, but that's, you know, only when it plays to my advantage. I don't want Team Sandra to end Team Sandra. I want Team George to end Team George. Um, and I'm slightly worried for myself. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I don't really know what, because Annie only caught me up on really what happened with like, because we, remember, we talked and we thought like, oh, course we split. So to hear that it was a compass and like, so she kind of like caught me up on all of Courtney's shenanigans. I personally do not think that, Ro like Rocky's talking to her right now. I can't see Rocky like actively throwing your name under the bus right now. You know, it, it, just, it doesn't make sense to me. Because we do have that trust like built. And I know it's weird because we haven't been to any crossroads together yet. But mm -hmm. like... It's still, it's still something, you know, to win two challenges together, to have all of these hours to talk to one another. Like, it's, I feel like there is something there that other people might not have with each other. No, there's I'm a lot of, like, camaraderie and shared experience that we all bond over, which yeah. just the more time we spend together, the harder every crossroad is going to be. And, like, I, I'm not too – I don't think, honestly, there would be too much stigma about breaking that George Sander dichotomy only because – I don't really hold it against, like, it's already been tried where Kristen and Courtney tried to vote for Rocky and failed miserably. I don't hold that against Courtney. I don't think she's a traitor. Um, right. It was just kind of a shit show. And uh, they, knew, they they just kind of, like, self-devoured each other, which... Yeah, I'll, I'll be open to, to Rocky. So, how's it going? <laughs> it's going uh, interesting. I mean, I've been telling past two uh, crossroads and i'm here again so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i'm making it through yeah this is um an interesting vote um i'm not sure yeah. how it's going to play out i have talked to austin and uh bar about this um i don't know how you feel about it but um i think a clever mm -hmm. vote here would be rocky uh and I know you started on the same team together. I'm quite, uh, I mean, you haven't had the pleasure of meeting me, but I'm quite, I guess, direct, not direct. Um, oh. I accidentally just left Joseph. Like, my arm, like, accidentally touched. <laughs> no, I did not mean to leave. Oh, I'm going to, like, go. I'm going to, like, go and be like, I did not mean to do that, and I'll come back. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I can't even remember. Oh. Joseph, I did not mean to leave you. My arm, like, touched the button. I'm so confused. I did not mean to leave you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, wait, wait. You guys, like, mid-convo, I can go talk to Ryan. If you guys want. Yeah. I can, like, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. I was like, just the moment I said something, and I'm like, Eddie, no! <laughs> I thought that something, like, glitched. I was like, what the heck just happened? Anyways, uh, sorry. So, where were we? Um, I mean, that's my, I think, a smart pitch. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it. Um, mm -hmm. no, for Rocky, yeah, he's used the compass before, he's quite smart on the money. Mm -hmm. I think he would be a very tough player to play against, come on, they do, which is very soon. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Who do you think would go for that, though? Um, Bar seemed receptive to it. I had, we've had a, a couple of chats that, um, Bar seems to be very against the whole George v. Sandra dynamic. Mm -hmm. I think he's just a bit nervous. There's a bit of stigma about 
a Sandra going for a Sandra or a George going for a George. Um, and it kind of either, it either opens the game or people play more reserved afterwards. I'm honestly, I'm just like nervous because I just don't want to go home since it's like the third crossroads in a row that I've been to. Mm, I know, so, I completely understand that. So like I don't right now, think I'm... anyone would, <laughs> anyone, sorry, that's terrible, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> um, would be thinking of you, honestly. I, I mean that as a compliment. Um, have you, um, how have you found Austin? Because I work well with Austin and I think he's mentioned that you're really great to work with as well. Yeah, I like Austin. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about um, advantages? Like, do you think that Rocky has one or anything? I mean, like, I know that he already used one, but... He's already used one. Um, so I wouldn't put it past him that he could have another. I feel like, though, in true Queen Sandra fashion, he might be... You either aim for the Queen and make sure you don't miss, otherwise you're kind of fucked. I just want to ask you, how was the summit... So I don't have a vote. <laughs> yeah, which does make this interesting. Um, I like I was honest to everyone in mind that that's what happened. So you can ask any of them. That's what happened. I'm not going to lie to you about it. But yeah, I don't have a vote for this round. Um, so I know it's a bit funny for me to. I don't have my social <laughs> voting capital at the moment. Uh, <laughs> and five votes in a six person tribe is not nice. Mm hmm. Yeah. But if we could pull in Ryan and Austin, then that's majority, so. There's that. I haven't talked with either of you guys yet. <laughs> um, are we still, is this, is the party still a two by two thing, or how are you guys feeling if you're willing to talk about it publicly here? I suggested Rocky. <laughs> That's, I heard, I, so yeah, I heard Rocky when I chatted with Austin. Mm -hmm. um, and then Rocky's more just, I mean, obviously, there's Sandra loyalty perceivedly, but there's also like the George loyalty perceivedly. So I feel like that's just what a lot of these surface level conversations are starting. These are always going to be, well, it's not really going to be deadlocked if that happens. Um, but at the same time, three George against three Sandra, if you're going to go down that way. Right. not a good time for anyone um yeah i mean that's what everybody's doing i'm fine with that we've had two rounds so yeah hey rocky hey rocky hey, uh, does anyone want to go hang out by the fire at joseph would you like to go sure. sick yeah is, is everyone still biting their tongue or people actually trying to play the game <laughs> Uh, Bar's trying to play the game. Oh, fun. What's Bar going for? Yeah. You. Oh, ass. God, motherfucker, dude. That's, that's so yesterday wonderful. yesterday how he was talking about how uh, he seems very stuck on this whole I don't want it to be George and Sandra the whole way. Yeah. Um, and he, he pitched to me, like, I don't, I don't have any voting capital this round to do anything. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think I'm in a position to throw anybody's name out there whatsoever. No, no, it's okay. I just appreciate the heads up from like a like a fellow, like the the kumbaya of blue isn't as kumbaya as it allegedly no. was. So uh, he said to me, "If I uh, what was it? If I see someone who didn't do a non George Sandra like line vote before rendezvous, I don't know whether I would consider them for like a jury vote if I was on the jury. It seems like he wants people to play the game, but." I don't know whether he's trying to insert himself in that as well, or try and push other people to. Like he's trying to push other people the game, to like cross, I guess. Like he's telling people to like cross the line already, type of thing, or like. Yeah, he doesn't want to be the martyr or the the Joan of Arc. He, he like he it. wants the ball to get rolling, but he doesn't want to be the one to push it. Yeah, type of exactly. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. There's like a there's like a calm eeriness about him that like like what are you what are you planning over there? Like what are you what are you mm. scheming? But I think um, he's always thinking. I feel like I hate to say it, but as much as like, as no one wants to admit it, but everyone's always thinking. Like, like that's just how these games work. Oh, I, yeah, it's like some people you can see, some people you can't. No, exactly. So, do you, would you have like a? I mean, because bars gaming, would you want to go him, or do you want to like? What do you What are you thinking? 
Well, to be honest, I don't really want to do Austin. Because I was Ryan. pretty seen by uh, Blue, to be honest with you, going into this. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. Um, okay, wait. I haven't talked to Austin yet, but I'll yeah, try to get back. Like, I just haven't talked to him yet. Okay. Immediately we get we get into the this last party and Thomas is like, oh my god, Rocky and Bar like Joseph left the call and Thomas is like, Rocky and Bar, like I'm so excited to see you. Like Andy talked so highly about you guys. Like let's just let's just have good vibes here. And I was like, okay, Thomas, let's <laughs> let's put it all out. There. Um, but what I was saying in in base camp, it, it feels like so Rocky and Bar both talked to and they're like, I want to leave this party with a four with me, you, Rocky, and Bar. It was like chatting like. <laughs> the last party in terms of like we're the four youngest people in this whole cast but also it seems like we all like each other a lot um but right now like i talked to austin and austin's like i really like andy i want to work i want to vote with Annie. let's vote rocky i talk to rocky and rocky's like i really like annie i think we can vote joseph here and so i just wanted your thoughts on everything (laughs) okay um right now i think i'm leaning more towards joseph if you're willing to do that voting joseph out Mm-hmm. Not not voting Austin, because Barr is saying that you would want to vote Austin. Uh, I have to t- I have to go and talk to Barr again, uh-huh. um, because I have to talk to Austin to get the story straight and everything. So I didn't know what we were telling everybody. But the truth is that um, me and Courtney flipped on Josh. Um, Courtney wanted to flip on Josh the first vote, and I was like, no, we got to vote for Aaron. But then the next one, I like. I wasn't gonna argue with her anymore, so we flipped on Josh and. Oh, so yeah. there was no, there was no compass or anything. Mm-mm. Okay, there was nothing. But no, so listen, I have to go back and talk about whatever, whatever, whatever story y'all are going public with. I can run with that. That's what you. So I can run with the compass story. But if it's if it's Joseph, I'm fine with that. I have a better okay. relationship with Austin, and he seems to really like you, so that makes more sense to me. Mm-hmm. Um, is does Austin want to do that? Does Austin want to turn on Joseph? He told me he was down for either Rocky or Joseph, so... I mean, just to rip the bandaid off, has there been, like, people's names thrown out there much, or, like... Definitely Joseph's a name that I've been hearing from, like, Annie and Barr, um, because apparently, like, Joseph doesn't have a vote, that's what he said what happened at Summit, and now they don't know, because I spoke with Joseph, and Barr was like, oh, did you hear about that? And I was like, no, and he was like, yeah, well... I don't know, like, do you think he's lying? I was like, to be honest, like, I don't really trust Joseph as much as I would really like to. Okay. And the same thing with kind of Josh last night. Like, I was like, Josh, I want to work with you. And he's like, I don't know. We're going to stick with, like, um, Team Sandra. And I was like, damn, you're not even, like, willing to, like, lie to my face. Yeah. Just like, like, when I played my compass, I, like, wrote his name down because I was like, I want people that are willing to, like, play the well, game and take things I up. I get it. Like, like, no, I also think that, like, to be honest with you, I think Joseph like lied to me, um, and like said that Barr was throwing my name out there, which kind of just yeah. like, which just kind of infers to me the fact that I think he's throwing my name out there. So, if y'all want to roll with Joseph, I am completely fine with rolling with Joseph. If you're comfortable with that, like, cause like once again, like this is a game that we're like we're setting ourselves up for uh, rendezvous, and you're a person that I see like very much like I get along with. Me and you kind of like joke about the game and have like that type of like attitude towards it, which I really appreciate in someone. So at least that's like my attitude towards it. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm answering an email. No, you're okay. You're like you're living like real life right now. <laughs> yeah, the life of a teacher where parents are like, "Why is my kid failing?" And I'm like, "Oh, did you see how they're missing like 30 days <laughs> of school?" Yeah, I I, yeah. I salute you to the utmost degree. Just so you know. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. And like, I'm a huge environmentalist, like at heart. So like, when you were telling me that, I was like, "Dude, I love that." Like. I'm, I, like, have my own vermiculture, like, compost bin, I compost, we, like, do a whole oh, bunch cool. of stuff, just, you know, just what I can do in, like, my small, like, everyday life to kind of, like, make a difference, so I, I love, like, what your uh, charity is, and I love, like, that that career, like, aspect that you have, and um, in terms of gameplay, like, I'm willing to vote out a fellow Team George or a fellow Team Purple, because, like, I I don't want just, like, only to be Team George, because half of them I don't even trust. Them thinking that I don't have a vote could be beneficial if, I don't know, to use it some way. Like, if it's 3-3 three, three and I have a steal a vote, then it's 4-2. Right. Steal a vote, I could have hit, but I feel like telling people, some people now that I have it and not that I actually don't have a vote, and then at Crossroads, 
It's good because it gives us wiggle room. And if I kept that completely to myself, I think that would be stupid because everyone would know that I lied to them. Uh, and I think being upfront will burn less bridges when it comes to it. If people are like, hey, you said you didn't have a vote, but you had a vote. Actually, I have two votes and I took yours, bitch. Right. Yeah, I... I'm always weird with advantages because it's not mine to use. But I also, I don't, I'm still confused at how the ties work. If it's like a wheel, then like I'd rather use the steel of oak. Oh, ugh. Wheel, no. Um, but if it's like a challenge, then like do we risk it and think that any of us are better than Rocky in a challenge? Probably not. Yeah. And I, we're good, but Rocky's great. And maybe the answer is just using it. <laughs> yeah. But then if he has something else, uh, one of us is gone. If she does end up telling you, please act surprised. Yeah. Um, it wasn't the compass plea that sent Yeah, no, I want to tell you that too. That's why I want to talk to you about it. Because Annie revealed okay, that okay, to me. Okay, okay. So yeah, I, Courtney, I, Courtney let the shit out of John. Dude, Courtney does not like me anymore, apparently, for saving myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. That too. That ha yeah. Because she's, cool. like, she's like mad at like, the tribal where you play the compass. Yeah, I'm like... So this piece of advice that I'm going to give you before I give you a surprise is I'm going to tell you that you need to think about opening some doors with people you can trust. And then yeah. here's your challenge. You yeah, need awesome. to go to the person who you or most people would most likely not think you would be in an alliance with. And you need to secretly talk to that person and say, listen, we could be strong as a union and nobody would ever suspect. I want to do that, but I have to. Uh, I know who it is, but I just... Now you got to switch into game mode. Use I know. your Use your emotions, use who you are, use everything about you, but now switch it a little to game mode. Right. I love you. I'm so happy to meet you. So All right. Well, listen to this. You're going to get... You're getting a... Can I say the name? Sure. Rocky. Okay. And then, and then the next time I hear from you, I want to hear how you talk to Rocky. So, listen to me. You yes. are going to get an advantage now. But what you have to do with this advantage before you go to Crossroads. Give it to somebody else, they have to give it back to me. So it's somebody yes. that really wants or it's yeah. But then, but, then if they give it back to me. Yes, they get an extra vote. I am so so, so, so listen, this is your opportunity to build an alliance with somebody, whether it's Rocky or somebody else. Good luck. Okay, first of all, I'll, I'm going to try to mend that relationship. But yeah, that I just want to like, because, okay, that's literally what I want to relay to you is I want to compare notes because like I am playing into the fact that he played a... Yeah, a yeah, we're acting like he played a company. Yeah, no, I 100% agree. Um, and I also was like, yeah, we can, like, bond over the fact that we both played one. But I, I know, I'm just kind of laughing at the fact that, like, now I have to play, like, I'm going to, because I'm pretty sure Courtney's going to come here, and I immediately just want to yeah. go. I'm probably, like, if she ends up coming here, I'm probably just going to immediately pull her to the fire and hash it out. But, yeah, um, do we want to quickly hop, okay, I'm saying, like, do you want to quickly hop in with Annie? Okay, we're good with Joseph. Do you want to quickly hop in with Annie and Ryan real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Who's, yeah. yep, okay. Okay, okay done. <laughs> Okay, sick. Dude, does Austin know? Is Austin gonna know? Yes, he yes, he does. He knows. Okay, that's what I thought too. You've told him, so I can talk to him. Now. And he's talked to him, yeah. Okay, yep. cool. I okay. Talk to him. <clears throat> what, what is Austin telling Joseph? Rocky. Uh, well, yep. I, just, yeah, I, okay. think, I think we're being cagey here. If I feel like it would be smarter to steal Rocky's vote, so it's 4 2, but pin it on either any or bar. But when I talked to any, I was like, oh, what do you think about Rocky? She was like, Immediately, yes. Um, there wasn't much discussion, and she was completely on board, and I didn't really buy that. Yeah. I, so I still think there's a lot of Sandra loyalty there. Yeah, definitely. And also, um, like, Courtney was like, we want to work with Barr. We want to work with Barr. 
like talking mm. about her and Annie. I just don't want it to be me. And like, I feel like I'm kind of getting like not clear strategy and like no clear direction. So now I'm kind of like worried. The thing is, if we don't go for a Sandra, and then it's just one of us three. And I don't, I really want to work with you and Ryan as deep as I 100%. possibly can because I feel like I am solid with you two and Thomas. I it's not like... that I want to. It's not that I want to go for a purple. So which one of the mm-hmm. reds would be less fallout if we go that w- route? I feel like it would be Rocky, but um, I'm very conscious that he would be smart enough to have something again already. I can't trust Rocky. And, like I know that you said to don't trust, but I think I've built enough trust with Austin on Team George to give it over back to me. I can convince Austin to do it because sign language and animals and his husband and I've built rapport with him and I think I don't think I can trust Rocky to do something correct. I'm incredibly nervous for Courtney joining because everybody seems super close with her. Annie put the vote with her to save Austin. Those three are close. Yeah. I'm putting my full trust in you and Bar to make like, No, I know. The point is here's the thing. thing that we're deadlocking this. Here's the thing. Austin can be spewing bullshit to me. Like this is fully thing. But he I think he's a little actually no, he's playing into that idea. I don't know, man. I I, I am I, I do think that like worse comes to worse. But if you, without me, the the worst they can do is deadlock it on you. Here's the thing. If it deadlocks, I don't think Annie I think Annie would flip it. I again. told Annie about Joseph Steele vote, so Okay, no, but I don't okay, wait. No, there I are... have to fuck Austin. Sure. Okay, so so much development has happened tonight that I'm like, I need to. What What do you think? What, so, what mom? As far as I'm concerned, Joseph's getting voted out by everybody. I've heard too. I wanted to check back in with you because we can swing this, obviously. So this is how my night happened. Spoke with Joseph. He didn't mention anything about the summit. Spoke with Barr. Barr mm-hmm. said that Joseph didn't have a vote. Joseph then spoke with me later. I was like, I want to let you know that I actually have a steal a vote. Ryan knows this, and so I'm like, that. But what I was confused is I saw you two in a room together at first, and then I talked to Joseph like five. He's like, I didn't tell Austin. I was like, you yeah. were in a, Why did you? Why the fuck did you not tell Austin? Yeah, and when Barb brought that up, I'm like, fuck, do like, am I on the outs? You know. So, so let me. We have you and I have two options here. We can vote out uh, Joseph and build really strong cross party bonds with these other three, or we can vote with his steal a vote and vote out Rocky. Okay, when you confronted me about being on the show before, I was honest because I wanted to tell you. Mm-hmm. Um, I just told Jess first and just didn't have time. But, like, I would like to let you know I do also have an extra advantage. Oh, um, cool. And I want to, like, read it to you so we can... And like I said last night, I never got an advantage. And actually, Courtney tonight sent me an advantage from, I guess, being saved. And it's basically I can leave Crossroads tonight. Let me read it. I want to be able to use this in our benefit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it says, you've been gifted a shortcut. This shortcut allows you to leave Crossroads, making you exempt from the vote, but you will not be able to cast a vote. The shortcut must be played before the votes are cast. However, there is a caveat to this advantage. The advantage was given in to you in order to activate its powers, and you have possession of it. However, you now have a decision to make. If you decide to return the shortcut to its original recipient at any point after Crossroads is over then you'll receive an extra vote that is valid through the final seven. And the recipient will have the shortcut valid through the final seven as well. If you send that back to Courtney, Courtney keeps the shortcut as a working advantage, or you, and you get an extra vote, or you can keep that for yourself. Okay, it says, if I decide to keep the advantage for myself and do not return it to the original recipient by the start of the final 12 crossroads, then it will only be valid through the final 12. So you'd have to use it at the final 12. Yeah. Yeah, so... I, don't know, I don't know Courtney. So I, 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 so my worry going into this next... Courtney's going to join our party. My, is everybody seems to have a relationship with Courtney but me. So I'm putting a lot of faith in everybody else here. To do I have been with. talking you up to Courtney. I told... I mean, to be honest, I did tell her that I'm close with you and Jess. Fine, yeah. Because fine. I was like, I have I have currency behind keeping me. Cool. I, I and so... You. And Courtney, when you when you actually do get to... She is like, here's who I am, and you, like, there is no, I, like... I was, that's the kind of people... I, like, but I think if we feel good that uh, we'll have a thing with Courtney, I think you send it back to Courtney. And then we get two advantages for our little crew. But we're so just we're voting Joseph. 
Yeah, I'm down to vote. Joseph. I haven't heard any other trips. It's Joseph or Rocky, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Hello and welcome, everyone, to the day six crossroads. I am here with the Purple Party plus Courtney, who was sent to the summit earlier. She's excited as she is safe for the evening. We're going to get her to turn her video off. She is here as a spectator and will not have a vote. So she will be joining your party once we have deserted one of your party mates. So welcome. Some of you I've seen a few times. Some of you haven't been here quite as often. Um, I'm going to go to you first, Bar. How was the vibe coming back from the challenge here with your uh, new party mates? Did you guys get a chance to know each other or was it right to business? It, so luckily, um, we did have a chance to like talk as a, as a team for just a few minutes, but I do, I do cherish all of these conversations. For me, play, I don't play many games, but when I do, the, the main objective for me is to make friends. And so I know that like, despite the the shitty vibes of like having to go to the crossroads and the chance that I could go home tonight, I know that if I'm leaving tonight, I, I genuinely like like all these people and I'm gonna stay in touch with them. And so for me that's like uh, um making things a bit better. Because let's be honest, I don't want anyone here to go home. I don't wanna go home. Um so it's just, it's a bad situation. It's not like there's someone here who I can point at and I can say like, oh, I hate this person. I don't want them to stay in the game. Like, I genuinely like all these people. Even Austin, you know, I only met Austin today, but we got to chat and like, I genuinely like him. And it's not like, you know, there's some people who you would talk to on like day one or whatever. And you're just like, ah, eh, I'm not really vibing with them. It's kind of what happened with Sandra, you know, but like. It's, it's different here. Every person here I genuinely like, and so it sucks. It sucks to have to vote someone out, especially when you're just a new team. It's like, you have nothing to really go with here. So. Right? I mean, R Ryan, he makes a lot of good points there. Uh, we're at a point in the game where there's been a lot of mix-ups. Um, is there any... Are we still playing kind of a loyal to the original party game, or are we way past that at this point? Listen, I'm just glad to be away from Thomas. Um, I think we were cursed in this game, and so it's nice <laughs> to see some new faces. Um, no, I think it's, I, for lack of a better word, I think it's stupid to think it's still original uh, teams. I think you're only limiting your game more and more as these rounds go on to think exclusively about that. Do I think loyalty still lies with Team Sandra people for the Team Sandras and Team George people for the Team Georges? Yes. I, like, I mean, those relationships, those relationships won't just disappear to nowhere. But I think we're four phases. We're in the fourth phase of this game now. I think loyalties and paths moving forward lie a lot deeper than just the people that you started with on the first night. Mm -hmm. Now, Austin, you've you've had a lot of recent experience here at the crossroads. Um, what? How do you feel about what Ryan was saying there? He's saying original parties are still kind of there, but hopefully a path. I mean, yeah, it's all about being able to kind of, like, navigate in between those cracks to, like, directly quote, you know, Survivor. It's basically, like, if there is a crack, like, can we break up a party or do we want to just go along with, you know, whatever sounds best? And, you know, at this rate coming in here after being able to play my compass, you know, I was just kind of thinking, like, I just got to go with whatever doesn't make me a threat and just try to, like, you know, go with whatever the power's at the, you know, mm. want to go with. All right. Annie, I'm joining Austin at, at the last couple of crossroads, but also you're, you're running into some former um, tribe or party mates as well. So um, what was that like? Was there a lot of catching up phase and then get to it? Or were we just kind of all on the same page right away? Yeah, it was uh, definitely interesting. There was definitely a lot of catching up to do. Um, just to like hear what was going on at the other crossroads. Um, but honestly, right now, I think that it's very dynamic and the, the party lines are definitely not what is determining this vote tonight. 
Joseph, um, what have kind of been the variables that we've been talking about? Is challenge performance coming up at all, or is it now more social threats, um, people kind of building a resume that you're kind of looking at? Um, I mean, we all absolutely bombed the challenge today, so we can't really <laughs> use that against anyone. Uh, so that's not really in the picture, girl. I don't think. Not, not, at least not challenge performance for this one. I think yeah. people are starting to clue in that hey, good challenge performance now might not, it's a great thing now, but it's not such a great thing post rendezvous for me if I know someone's a lot better than shit than I am or um, you make a mistake by buying a smaller can, um, stupid shit like that. But <laughs> I think people, uh, the, I think the game's switching gears this round, uh, which is uh, both nervous and exciting and people are either showing their true colors or their second face. I, I don't know how else to put mm. it. Rocky, that's a, that's a fun way to put it, right? Are you getting kind of the same vibe that things are starting to really pick up now and the gameplay is starting to hit that next level? Yeah, and I think it's kind of hard, too, because the point is is that, like, I guess not all, all of us here are really battle-tested in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like what really, like, where you really, like, show your bonds is at Crossroads. Like, that's where you really find out who's with you is when that vote is cast. And, like at the end of the day you just have to wait until that's over to really trust someone and um i think like for a lot of us today like this really feels like the first like big boy like crossroads where we're all like trying to see where people are because like this is like a mesh of like people who have been with crossroads who've not been to them who have like seen shit like we've had two people here who've had to play their compasses and like um it just like i think tonight is going to show people's true colors and hopefully their true colors are on my side. Um, but yes, that's about it. All right. Now, is there anyone out there who's feeling particularly nervous tonight thinking, um, yeah, Austin, I saw your, looks like I'm getting a lot of hands. Uh, who wants to comment? I think, um, to be honest, it kind of feels like this could be the final six. That's what the stakes kind of feel mm -hmm. like. And I think if you're not feeling nervous, then... If you don't come to Tribal Council nervous, it could be you. Yeah. yeah. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. All right. Well, I'm going to open up the floor one last official time. If anyone has any uh, last-ditch efforts or anything else that they like to say before we get to the crossroads, now would be a good time to sit and do it. All right. If you have... An advantage that you'd like to play before the votes. Now would be the time to play that. All right, wrap that up. Let's move on to the vote. We're going to go in alphabetical order once again. So left to right, we're going to start off with Annie. Come on over, Annie. All right, everyone. The votes are in. If you have an advantage that can be played after the votes, now would be the time to do so. Hey, Jonathan. Um, Joseph. I would like to play my compass. Thank you. Okay. I can verify that Joseph does, in fact, have a compass. So any votes cast for Joseph will not count. All right, we had six votes this evening. The first vote was for Joseph, will not count. Second vote was for Joseph, will not count. The third vote, Joseph, will not count. The fourth vote is for Joseph, will not count. Fifth vote, was also for Joseph and will not count. Joseph had his one vote. That vote is for Bar. Bar, you have been deserted tonight at the crossroads by a vote of one to nothing. Thanks a lot for playing, Bar. Do you have any last words for your party? Um, play hard, have fun, uh, no hard feelings, I hope. Um, and, uh, 
Talk to you all when the season is over. All right, bye. I hope to stick around for a second so we can have a quick chat. As for the rest, plus Courtney can go back to that purple chat. Courtney, you are now a part of the purple party. You Hi. have until 10 p.m. tonight. Do your thing you're for an of, hour. You're one of us now, Courtney. You're yeah. stuck here. Everybody go. Get out. These motherfuckers want to vote me? Do they not know the last thing about King George? The cockroach from Bankstown that cannot be killed. Well, I am the new cockroach. A lot of how the conversation started was like what I expressed to you where I thought there was a lot of loyalty between the three of them. And so I think what my immediate concern was was that those three were, were tight and like rightfully mm -hmm. so. And then immediately when the round started, I was like, I was talking to Austin. Austin's like, oh, I really want to work with Amy. Mm -hmm. um, and then from that point, I was like, oh, this is not going to fall in any position that benefits you or I. Um, and so the conversation just quickly fell in terms of targeting you. And I was like, okay. Um, obviously, yeah, yeah. I, I was I was just as much a scumbag and guilty of casting the vote and involved in those conversations. So you have, you have every right to be mad. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, I, I thought maybe... I mean, it's good to know that Rocky probably doesn't have something, but um, at the same time, he was probably quite confident as well. So, you got, I don't feel very safe at the moment if he had to go to Crossroads again. Um, I feel like that would be a very easy vote, and I expect that that was what would happen if we did. I mean, Courtney just went to the summit. She could have something. I have no idea what's going on. Moving forward, should we just, now knowing he's kind of like exhausted a compass, do we try for him again just because he's like uh okay he, he definitely knows what he's doing he's also like he also just like comes off as a very intelligent human being just mm -hmm. like yeah. he does and that scares me but yeah I, I mean i can't i can't sit here and like apologize and be like oh i didn't want you to go thank goodness you played a compass no, you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. um but I, I also don't think like i think it's silly to to stay closed-minded and just like keep rerunning the same thing it's the definition of insanity so mm. i'm not like in any box where i'm like okay like we're gonna get i'm gonna walk into the calls next crossroad and be like let's just run joseph again let's let's get him out of here um because it's not like i don't enjoy you and haven't had like a good time with you in this, in this game so far yeah am i am i am i a valley girl enough Courtney, it's the vocal to... fry that really sells it for me Courtney, do you want to go to the trail and chat we just, okay. we have, yeah, I just got to I just got to meet Joseph for the first time and I'm so happy. Well, now it's my turn. <laughs> I, 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 oh, I, guys, I, take me to dinner first. I'm going to do it, do it, and do it, and do it, and do it with Ryan. Yes, let's do it. I'm funny, six foot four, apparently. Do it, and do it, and do it, and do it. Okay. I'm... Rocky's always going to be selfish. Selfish is not the way to play it, right? Right. We have to like, we have to like make him feel comfortable for a minute. I, I think Austin will probably just want Joseph gone again. E so you trust Eli more than Joseph, right? Because I know, I like know Eli and Joseph have a whole thing. Joseph, why Austin? They're all angry at each other. I'm here for, I'm here for vibes, like, Courtney. So the longer what? you and I can keep having, I'm here for vibes. So the longest, the longer you and I can stay here. The fact that you just said dance bombs. I'm a, I'm a yeah. professional dancer. Are you really? Circus Soleil for five years. Oh, that's a, where, where was the coolest place you traveled with it? I was in Vegas for five years. That's awesome. And then I, I was also in Chicago and Broadway. So Where's, when you said, did you, did you grow up doing, doing musical theater then? I tried, but I can't sing because I got vocal fry. See, that's what my, I, I mean, I can't sing because I have no talent. I took a vocal lesson one time, and they said, you need to be funny, because I'm not going to be your voice teacher ever again, you can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. They literally turned my mic off in Chicago. When I was, I, I was literally like, the, like, like, do you know Chicago? Yeah, 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 yeah. So much. So like, I was like, what is the... Um, and I literally, they turned my mic off anytime I didn't say, uh-uh. <laughs> name, name somebody in this game right now that has a compass and looks bad in a cut-off t-shirt. <laughs> it's, it's Ryan Taylor, guys. Come on. Um, I've been reeling for the past. So it's, it's midnight right now. 
Um, I got my compass right at the end of the night. I mean, did it take me getting the most blatant clues ever to figure this out? Yeah, but you know, I, I earned this for catching the cups before anybody else did. Um, and so I'm happy. And Someone's found a compass, by the way. No way. How do you know? All of their, all of their names are Wrigley Field, Deep Dish, Black Hawks, Chicago, and it's been found. How the fuck was it Chicago? What? Deep Dish Pizza. What the heck? How, right? How could you get Chicago from those clues? Do we think it was somebody on purple or red? Not, not, unless it, I don't think it was us. No, I don't think it was any of us. No. Well, they really dumbed it down for us compared to the other clues. What? They're like, okay, <laughs> this is taking too long. We're going to change our names to Deep Dish. Like, <laughs> Jonathan, you're my Deep Dish. <laughs> do you know when they changed it or did you just notice joseph no i i no i just saw it then i'm like that's weird and they changed it back uh yeah. ryan, ryan did you um ryan did you it was chicago and it is not and someone got it what the fuck does chicago have to do with cups <laughs> <laughs> i was in chicago on broadway to write I'm voting Joseph, and I really like him, so I do feel kind of bad for voting him, but, um, you gotta do what you gotta do. My vote tonight is for, um, just going with the numbers, man. I really wanted to work with you. I'm sorry, but I'd rather it be you than me. I am so sorry. I love you so much. I'm sticking with majority, right? So, fun fact, um, I was going to play my steel vote until I realized that Courtney was joining us after, and this vote is probably going to have a couple of repercussions um, in that, and I would like to keep it for that, so uh, I'm not having a bar of it. Uh, hopefully this is classic misdirection. Uh, I guess my little spiel is, I like you a lot, Joseph. I think if it's not you, it's me. So that's what I'm voting with. I'm sorry, Mr. G DJ. Um, I am voting you tonight. Uh, my vote tonight is for Joseph. Uh, let this serve as proof that original party lines aren't true, but let this serve as bigger proof that uh, once you're sketchy, you're kind of always sketchy in my brain and you just can't really get that that good old honest trust back very quickly. Um, so hoping I can move forward with the rest of this group here. And that unfortunately just doesn't include Joseph in the long run, so. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes or bonus content. On you, yes, yes. Can I get a whole year? Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, right? We, it gives we, we had a, my icebreaker to get to know them was, hey, Rocky, do you think Ryan is gives off short or tall energy? And I was like, in my back, I'm like, short. And he's like, I'm 6'4. And I was like, like I'm 6'4. And Thomas but like, is 5'2. Cool. Yeah, Thomas is short. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's, not, he's like 5'11. <laughs> Oh, dude, I get so mad because I keep sending things and they're like, no, no, no. And I'm like, okay, can you say it in a different way? Like, can you say like, great try, Eli, you are doing your best, but that's not it. <laughs> he, they just answer one of my responses and they said, good effort, keep it up. <laughs> I'll keep going all night. Yeah. We love you, Jonathan. Oh, we love, love you, Jonathan. Jonathan. You're my favorite person to reject me. The right, mafia with that. Matt and I. <laughs> All right. Oh, the dingoes have removed us. All right. Good night, oh, everyone. No. Good night. Good night. Good night.